What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. Uh, so, uh, the PlayStation, was it a showcase or was it a state of play? Showcase. I think it was a state of play. Anyway, um, yeah, it happened. I watched it uh, one and a half times. About one and a half times. I skimmed through the lot. I, I watched it for a row and then I skimmed through it the second time. Just to get the list of the actual games that came out. <sighs> um, yeah, so generally overall, uh, I'll give it a score at the end. Um, but like I said, they, as in PlayStation, are a little scurred and unoriginal. And so what did they do? They have some talking heads. I'm Herman Olst. La, 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 la. And that homegirl come out. La, 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 la. Right? They didn't have that before. They had a blank screen with colors, blue and white. You know, the symbols. And the lady like, here's the next PlayStation game. Wing. That's what that was. They thought that was cool. But now they actually have some a human. Humans. Multiple humans. Even Kadeo showed up. Hideo, I said Kadeo, wow. Hideo showed up. <sighs> anyway, let's go through this list and we'll give each uh, each game kind of its flowers, seedlings, saplings, dirt. I don't know. All right, first game was Helldivers 2. I would say this about Helldivers 2. It looked better than it did when it first when they first debuted that game. That game looked like hot trash on a piece of toast dumpster fire with doo-doo on it. It looked bad. I was like, that's not a, no. I mean, that game, I don't know how it plays, but that game looks terrible. Now it looks not as terrible. Is it gonna play like the first one? No, it's not, because it's a different perspective. That's like, you know, when you change the camera, let's say, I don't know, off the top of the head in a God of War game, it changes the game a little bit. You go back to the old God of War games, it's like, oh, this is God of War, old school. And then you come to the new one, oh, it's basically the same exact gameplay, same exact little arenas, fighting fighting enemies. You change the camera, you put a little flip flap in it, a little swippy swap. Feels different, plays different. And that's what's gonna happen with Hell of the Irish too. Is it gonna be better than the first? I don't know, I mean, it's just, it's going to be a crazy third person. Who cares? I don't care. I'm not really interested in that game. People are like, oh, it looks cool. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Stella Blade. Uh, I, I heard some people were trying to compare Stella Blade to Hellblade 2. Or was it John Linneman that did that or something? And I forget what he said, but he got, I think he got drop kicked by the internet or something. He got legs, he got elbowed by the internet. Anyway, here's what I'll say about Stella Blade versus Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 objectively looks better i'm not even like subject no there's no subjective about it it looks realistic stella blade does not okay that's one two still leaning on what i just said art style hellblade 2 realistic realism humans stella blade computer generated anime ladies that's what's up that's what it is and so i mean you could prefer an art style over realism but if you're going to say what looks better of course it's subjective but as far as what looks most realistic hellblade 2 all day long all day long you want to be impressed by graphics hellblade 2 wins i don't know what the story is with stella blade uh, everybody got british accents but they look like the anime people it's from korea i got nothing against korean korean um uh, devs i don't know what i don't really know too much in depth about their history when they started and all that stuff and and lineage as far as this uh this dev goes i'm not they don't make bad games as far as i'm concerned but we'll see you know so far it's a bunch of uh, okay maybe okay maybe games but only two in number three shadow cross i mean sonic cross shadow generations look i'm a i'm a say i'm a sega fan boy I'm a Sega fan boy. Space Harrier. That's how far back I go with Sega. That's when I was like, what is this 
Sega, Sega, how do you say that? I was like, yeah, let's go. And I fell down the Sega hole. But the problem with <laughs> these games, we're only on three. The problem with this game, with these games is that there was something missing. The signature PlayStation AAA bangers. They didn't have any of those. And uh, some, gonna, some people are going to say, oh, but, but, Death Stranding 2. And I'm like, I'm going to say Death Stranding 2 is a really, really highly polished indie game. That's what I'm going to say about Death Stranding. It's super highly polished, super high budget. That's an indie game. Death Stranding 2, if it's just like the first one, that's kind of an indie game. You know, if that had pixelated graphics and a lower budget, it's an indie game. I mean, any game's like that, but I'm just saying, you walk in and you deliver in packages. It's kind of triple A game. That's not triple Anyway, sorry. Um, so, I'm sure Sonic will be fine for Sonic fans, whatever. It's, it's all good. Uh, number four is Zenless Zero Zone Zone Zero ZZZ. I, didn't, I don't know what this was. Kind of an anime painterly. It looked kind of cool, uh, the art style, but I, I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's good, but, you know, it's one of those short games. Okay, maybe. We'll see. Dave the Diver. Not a new game, but they have Godzilla DLC, Gojira DLC. Um, once again, <laughs> what? Okay, I mean, I wasn't. I've heard Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver was a pretty dope game. Blah blah blah. It goes deep. It's pretty good. But honestly, really, what are you gonna, are you gonna are you gonna chop off Godzilla's tail and then serve it in your in your diner or whatever you do with the restaurant? I don't look. I'm, okay, sure. V Rising. It's another indie game. It was uh, isometric. It looked okay. The graphics, I was like, all right, I, no, all right. Maybe if I, you know, if it was on Game Pass, I'll play it. And uh, once again, I forgot. To a lot of these games are, are multi-plat. <laughs> I mean, Stellblade is and Helldivers is it. Sonic is. Uh, ZZZ, I'm not sure about that one. Um, Dave the Diver, I'm not sure about that one either. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, v Rising, like I said, is isometric, something, something. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Silent Hill, the short message. Uh, that seems just like a version of PT, basically. Uh, but they put some extra graphics on it or something. I don't know. I mean, it looks cool, but it's a free download. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it's probably just what PT would have turned into or literally would have turned into. That's a, that's a Konami joint, obviously. And then they have Silent Hill 2. I guess it's a remake coming out. I, I want to know, I'm jumping the gun, but I want to know how Kojima, Kojima felt about these Konami games being in this direct with, I mean, I'm pretty sure he didn't realize. He just went in and did the, I am Kojima, and then he did the, you know, he did his little spot and stuff. He didn't, I don't know if he saw the whole thing, and maybe he was mad after, incensed. He's like, yo, man, I can't believe that we're doing the same thing. You know, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, moving on, uh, Judas. That's your boy. That's that's another multi-plat. That's uh, Ken Levine's joint. Looks better than Bioshock. I'm interested in that. I'm, I'm going to see what's up with that. Once again, not exclusive. Uh, next one is Metro Awakening. VR. I mean, do I really need to go any further? I mean, really? I mean, VR is dead. Um, not not um, not the... Uh, wow, I was about to say Steam Deck. <laughs> Not the Quest 3. That's, that's what it is, right? The Quest 3? That's not dead. That sold... Tangent. The Quest 3 sold... Outsold... PlayStation VR 2. 30 to 1. I didn't report on this because I was like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Maybe I mentioned it, but... I, all these doggy coins are pulling. Oh, my gosh. The PlayStation outsold Xbox 3 to 1. 5 to 1. 30... To one, do you understand how destroying that is for play PlayStation? Don't even make games for it anymore. You, you would you sell sell like twenty five of them? How many people have them? Nobody has them, and if they do have them, they're not playing with them. They're collecting dust because y'all ain't got no games. Y'all ain't got no games. You still ain't got no games in this list. All these games, you ain't got no games. How does that work out? How do you have not one single first party banger in here? Anyway, moving on. 
Metro Awakening, I just said that. Legendary Tales VR. Dude, this game looked so hot trash. I'm sorry. Look, all that, like, like Judas looked dope. Metro Awakening, I'm like, all right, that looks cool. It looks like a current gen. Let's go. All the other games, uh, you know, aside from the, the um, indie games or art style type games, looked, you know, they looked appropriate, let's just say. This game, this game looked like a, a PS3 game. For I'm not exaggerating. I'm looking, I'm like, what, what is that? Did they forget to put the, the lights or something? Something's wrong with this thing. It doesn't look good. It did not look good. I was looking, I was like, oh, hell to the gnaw. Y'all got Metro, which is I, right. and then you get this thing, and it's like, they're scraping the bottom. Like, we need another VR game, at least. And then there's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so bad. I was like, yeah, nah, I wouldn't even waste my time watching someone play it. I saw the trailer. I was like, I have wasted enough time watching this game. Done. Nobody's going to buy that game. I have, I have news for you. Nobody's going to buy it except for the ponies and donkey unicorns that actually bought the PSVR and they're trying to prove a point that it's good or something in their mind. I mean, not, they can't prove it to anybody else because everybody else knows that it's hot trash garbage. But in their mind, they'd be like, ah, it's good. Let me buy something to prove it. And they're going to buy that. And they're going to realize, oh, God, this is so bad. <laughs> maybe that's early graphics. And maybe they'll they'll uh, tighten up the graphics on level three when they <laughs> get to the end. Anyway. Next one, Dragon's Dawn with Dogma 2. That looked good. You know what that reminded me of? That looked like if Scalebound didn't get canceled, that's what that game would be. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Like, if they would have named that game Scalebound, I'd be like, oh, yeah, look, it's, yeah, Scalebound. But they had a Minotaur and stuff in there, so it's not just dragons. But anyway, uh, I ain't got no problem with uh, Dragon's Dog, but I, I, maybe I'll play it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't play the first. I think I played the demo of the first one. I was like, oh, this is crazy hanging on to the monster. And I was like, I am done. <laughs> Next, Rise of the Ronin. You know what Rise of the Ronin is? Rise of the Ronin is Assassin's Creed Samurai Edition. I know you're like, oh, that's Ghost of Tsushima. Nah, this is this is literally that. And the graphics, uh, graphics kind of look last gen. I ain't gonna lie, look like a PS4 game. I wasn't impressed by the graphics in Rise of the Ronin. And uh, somebody mentioned, oh, when you do the grapple hook, it's like it's a certain, it's like pre 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 predetermined spots. You can't just grapple onto everything like Halo, you know. I, I don't know. Like I said in the last video, these games are not going to be the triple A bangers that Sony is known for, that Sony has programmed into the public. And that's the problem that Sony has. They will never escape that. And what will happen is it's going to be the downfall of Sony and their reputation and their quality. The quality is going to go down and then it's going to stabilize to a certain extent and then everybody's going to have to accept this new level of lower quality whether it's lesser game or it's legendary tales vr you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right next uh until dawn remake question mark i it, was it a remake i don't know i saw it and i was like that looks like the same exact game like, oh, built from the, remember they, they always say built from the ground up or rebuild from PlayStation 5 and stuff and stuff. I'm like, y'all lying. Y'all, all y'all did was move a slider, increase the maximum amount of the, of the resolutions or something. You didn't do nothing to nothing. It looks like hot. It looks like the same game. They're getting, they're getting over. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I hope it's a $10 upgrade. $10 upgrade. I hope it's a $10 upgrade because if it's not and they forcing you to buy it again, mm -mm, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. Oh, wasn't impressed. And the last one, Death Stranding 2. And the unannounced uh, Kojima new Metal Gear, but not Metal Gear game. He's making a... Uh... <laughs> I mean, look. I'm not saying that Sony said, yo, make a Metal Gear clone for us. I don't know if Kojima wanted to make another Metal Gear type game. It's not Metal Gear because he doesn't have the rights to Metal Gear. That's Konami. So he has to call it Spy Works. Or I don't know what he's going to call it. But whatever. Let's just say it's Spy Works. So this new game called Spy Works from Kojima is going to be like Metal Gear. And there's going to be a guy, a dude in it. And his name is going to be J Josh. J J Jake. It can't be Jake. Yeah, it could be Jake. Jake 
Jake, 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 Jake Glockman. <laughs> That's not a bad name. Jake Glockman, right? So Jake Glockman is a spy. He has a gun, probably a Glock, because he's a Glock man. And uh, he's going to be sneaking. He's not going to have an eye patch because that's too close to Snake. Although he should have been sued for Snake Pliskin too. I mean, for Snake. You know, Solid Snake, Snake Pliskin. Escape from, he literally bit, bit that character. So maybe he'll do the same thing. He'll bite, bite a, new, uh, a new spy. Maybe he'll do James Bond. Blonde. Daniel Craig type. Call him J- James. Anyway, I'm bad at names right now. Um, so the, the new, the new game that he's talking about is, um, is going to be something that I've always believed that he would do. And that is basically kind of a movie interactive type of thing. Cause he's been making movies for 30 years or whatever with his games. You know what I'm saying? Those cutscenes, 90 minute cutscenes, that's a movie literally. And so... I mean, sure, he signed up with Columbia Pictures, Sony, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's cool. That's, that's a good uh, synergy or whatever. But that has failed all, all the way up until Alan Wake 2, where it hasn't failed. Remedy's been the champion of that because they've been doing it for years. And nobody liked it. But I guess Alan Wake 2 gets a pass. So I don't know how Kojima's going to pull it off. He doesn't have... I don't think he has the experience as far as success with that live action i haven't seen any live action kojima i haven't seen it's all been cg computer kojima so i don't know how that's going to be is it going to be cg animated who knows but it it was uh interesting that state of play uh i will give it a I give it a seven. I give it a solid seven. Seven point five, if I'm feeling generous. Um, only because I don't want to hate on. Okay, so as far as just games, like okay, these are games and they're they're good or bad or whatever. It's a it's mid. It's a it's a basically like a eh, bunch of third party games. You know that's because once again, Sony has trained the public to accept expect excuse me expect a certain level of quality and it wasn't there because they didn't have no games there and so now whenever you look at a playstation direct or i'm sorry i'm playing off not what it's called uh when you look at a state of play or you look at one of their showcases you expect some triple a banger to like blow your brains out blow your socks off didn't happen and it's not happening for all this year i guess death stranding 2 was supposed to be it but like i said before Death Stranding is just a really expensive indie game. And um, like I said, if you take a budget, a little bit of a budget away from that in any respect, well, I mean, I, you can say that to, to any type of game. You put enough budget behind it, put enough graphics and pretty stuff on it, it's triple A, or it gives it that triple A fragrance. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. Because there's, there's more to triple A than just graphics, obviously. But. I will say 7.5 if I'm feeling frosty. And it's a 6 in terms of it being a PlayStation event. PlayStation state of play. It was disappointing. Because zero first party studios there. Zero. Zero. And that's their downfall. They, they, They blew their load early this generation. And now they're sitting there. Acting like third parties, first party. It's ridiculous. It's really bad. It's so bad that they had to get human beings in there to try to make it better. <laughs> they never had humans on the state of play. They always had the, the plastic, the plastic, the, the computer stuff, right? The, the, the computer squares and, and crosses and triangles and circles floating around in the ethereal plane of existence of nothingness. That's all they had. Now they're trying to, like I said, they're trying to up the production value so that it's more like what xbox xbox did it first they did their dev direct now the direct was nintendo first of course but nintendo doesn't do it the same way either they just they're just all like having a picnic over there (laughs) it's so weird but xbox does it best they've done it the best as far as that goes and um 
I mean, I'm glad Sony's pivoting per se. I mean, kind of, sort of, but not really. But they still got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of games to make. They got they have their reputation to maintain it. I don't think they can. They can't afford to do it. They can't afford to maintain it. So the new PlayStation, the new plateau is low, low, low. And all the Dunkin' Unicorns and the Pony have to accept that you're getting less. You're getting less quality from PlayStation now, from now on. Because what they built, they can't keep it up. They can't keep it up. But let me know what you guys think. I know y'all watched it. Y'all gave me some, some uh, comments below. Preach, preach you guys. Let me know. Do you think it was a 7? Like I said, 7, 7.5, 6 because it's PlayStation. Um, what games did pique your interest the most in that? I'm going to say, um, what game did pique my interest the most? Let me, let me, let me look, let me look, let me look. I'm going to say, I, I, Judas, I think Judas. Only because I like Ken Levine, Ken Levine, he's a good, he's a good creator. He's a good maker of games. So Judas is probably the highlight. Because I like the graphics. It looked, looked pretty good. And like I said, he's, he does some stuff with his stories and his universes and his worlds. And I like him. So I think he has the most promise as far as uh, a game. And I didn't even go through the list to see which ones were actually multi, multi-plat. I mean, there were two I had saw right away. But And even Death Stranding. Like Death Stranding, the first one's on Game Pass on PC. So it's like, that's not exclusive. I should. I said, "Oh yeah, that's right. It's on PC. I should. I should freaking download it because I have. I have Game Pass PC. I just never play anything on it. But um. But yeah. Anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Like subscribe. We're getting there. We're getting there. Getting into three thousand. Three thousand hours of watchedness. Um. I think we have maybe a little bit more than three hundred to go. But like I said, y'all y'all support me. I appreciate it. And, and I'm gonna keep doing these videos. And we are gonna keep rocking out. And uh, eventually, we will evolve. We will have green screens and all that stuff. I have all that stuff. I just have to get the space correct to set it up. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to bore you with all that stuff. But anyway, once again, preach. Hit up the comments. Anything you want to say, let's go. You know, it's open. You know you know how I do. And uh, I'll uh, see what's up for the next video. And I'll check you out on the next one. Took the wait.